Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to another edition of Vertical Slice. I'm Gareth, and today we shall be slicing into Democratic Socialism Simulator. So I want to um, first start off by saying uh, this recording is from June 2020. Uh, we are in the middle, of course, of the coronavirus pandemic. But other than that, we also have um, a worldwide uh, huge protests about racial inequality. And, you know, I just want to make clear I am in full solidarity with those protesting. Black Lives Matter, and we need to do way more to tackle racial inequality in our communities and societies. Um, I personally am a democratic socialist, so that's, that's why I'm showing you this game. Um, but also, I think it's just a good game generally. But I should say, uh, Democratic Socialism Simulator, I actually got from the Itch.io bundle of uh, for racial equality and justice, I think it's called. Um, I will be putting a link to uh, how to get that bundle in the description, and I fully recommend it. It's got a, inc a crazy number of games in there. I think there are now 1,600 or something. It's it's mad, and the minimum you know donation value is five dollars. But if you can donate more, please do so. Um, so Democratic Socialist Simulator, or Democratic Socialism Simulator, I should say, uh, came out um, February 2020, and it is a kind of like a simplified uh, you know. Uh, what's that game? The is it called the political machine? It's the one that every comes out every election year in the United States, which kind of like says, you know, here's how you run your your country, etc. Um, but of course, with the idea of democratic socialism, democratic socialism simulator, <laughs> is that uh, you are trying to you know build a society where. Uh, in the United States, at least, where you can hopefully enact some more progressive policies, um, you know, and this is what I believe is necessary to make our world more just. And, uh, you know, I, I think the simulator actually does a really good job of simply putting those things together. Obviously, it's got to be streamlined because it is incredibly complicated, but it's a really elegant system. So we will get started. <laughs> So, uh, there is a tutorial that you can, I might say, if you've done it before. So, I'm going to say, no, I have done it before. So, we are starting at the beginning of our election. Um, it's, you know, all of this set in the United States. So, we're doing it in a um, format. The music is actually quite loud, isn't it? I might, unfortunately, turn it off. It is nice, because now it's just going to be my voice going, but unfortunately, there isn't. There doesn't seem to be a sliding scale sound, apparently. Um, so, you might not be able to hear me. Uh, so, it's the first day of our election. What are you going to do? Um, so, we can say, okay, uh, I'm going to make my inauguration speech about political revolution. And you can see down there, a load of people moved. Um, and what that represents is each of these people is like a sector of the electorate. Um, and they can say, you know, what they, what they like and what they dislike. So, this lady back here, or whoever that is, this person is really... Mm, they really care about terrorism and they they want tax cuts, small government. government. I'm going to say they're a conservative. They're, they're pretty damn conservative. This person, oh yeah, this person <laughs> loves white supremacy. So yeah, definitely, you know, it's representing real sectors of the electorate, sadly. Um, and then you've got down here this person, you know, they're for civil rights, social justice, etc. Um, so what you do is if you say, okay, I'm going to make my uh, inaugural speech about political revolution, it will alienate certain people who will move to the back of the board as it were um, and other people will move forward in the board and that means whether or not they are more likely to vote for you or not so you can see here this way it goes no um all of actually almost everybody likes the idea of hope so it's just very non non generic non-specific so maybe that's why obama chose hope <laughs> it's not going to offend anybody so i think you know start things off strong let's say we're going to go for hope initially all right, what are we going to make the inauguration ceremony like? So lavish, if we spend loads of money on it, that's not great, but it might attract a couple of people. Um, humble, it will attract the some conservative or people who want small government, I imagine. So let's make it a humble. We don't need a lavish inauguration ceremony. Oh, goodness. Is this me? I'm the, I'm the Democrat. Okay. Lovely moving speech. Um, okay, so let's get moving. I imagine this game is on mobile because it would work extremely well on mobile. Um, you know, it's very, very simple and very streamlined. We've got three bars here. So this is obviously how much money we have in the economy. This is the people power. So kind of like how much, um, I don't know, almost revolutionary fervor do the people have for your support, for your uh, actions. And then this one is 
uh, CO2, so global warming, how are we doing? We've got to try and get this bar down because, of course, it is huge at the moment. And then, of course, you can see how is our Congress control doing? When is the next election, um, etc. So we're going to say, let's provide a swift pathway to the millions of um, undocumented immigrants in America. So after those first um, things, it kind of like randomizes issues here. So what are we going to do in terms of making illegal immigrants um, allowed to stay in the United States? So uh, you can see that this, if you say nope, uh, a lot of the, uh, who are this person there, they are... Um, my top priorities are containing immigration. Yeah, so of course that person is very happy with the idea that we're not going to allow illegal immigrants into the country. But I think, yes, we do need to do that. So let's go, yep. Oh, North Korea has tested a missile. The country is engulfed with happiness, according to the state press. Tweet a threat or ignore. Um, I mean, North Korea is just being North Korea. Uh, they're, you know... There's no reason to respond to that, and I'm not going to tweet a threat, so let's just ignore that. Uh, we have some new additions to the disposition matrix. What's that mean? Uh, what's the what's the di disposition matrix? Colloquially known as the kill list. <laughs> Enemies we ought to target with drones and such. Kill the kill list. Sounds very legal. Yeah, uh... Mm, um, I personally think the United States interventions in overseas wars is not great, so I'm going to say let's kill the kill list. Uh, who's that alienating? This person who likes fighting crime and terrorism. Uh, watch this person. Tradition. Mm, okay, well, it's not many, and the it looks like the justice people, the people for world peace and internationalism, are happy with it. So let's let's do that. We're going to kill the kill list. <laughs> Oh, okay, we've got some swear in here, so that's all right. Uh, union rights have been F for too long. I'm not going to you know, swear on the actual video to make it more family friendly. <laughs> if a majority of workers formed a union, it has to be certified, period. Huh. Uh, I think that's that sounds sensible, probably. Um, people power goes up if we do that. Yeah, so, you know, if a majority of voters, if a majority of workers in a workplace want to form a union, they should be allowed to form a union. That sounds very reasonable. The fact that that isn't happening now is bad. Uh, okay. Should we keep building the wall on the Mexico border? No. No. Again, that's kind of like, mm, you know, certain people won't be happy, but not a lot. It's not like it's going to be a massively unpopular thing to stop it. And it, we are, um, that will save us money for one thing, save us quite a bit of money. So I'm going to say, yeah, we're going to stop the wall. Introducing the solar roof. It looks like a normal roof, but it produces more energy. Hmm, that would cost money, but uh, not that much money. And it does attract some of these people down here. This person who is for Christianity, and but they like the free market. They're kind of like a libertarian, I guess. Um, doesn't that person isn't that happy about it? But this this person who's just for tax cuts. They're just an old-fashioned conservative. They're fine for it. So yeah, let's let's go ahead with that. Consumers won't buy these wimpy electric cars until you grant them sustain substantial grants. I like this lobbyist picture. I, I like the whole aesthetic of this. I just think it's really nice and simple. Um, no, <sighs> Consumers won't buy these electric cars without grants. I mean, I, yes, I guess, but it's, um, it's either way it reduces... I don't like giving the electric lobby too much, and that's going to cost a lot, you see. Yes, we should move to electric cars, but I think we just have to move slowly and try and phase out. If we if we ban petrol cars, then nobody will ever, ever have the choice. So let's just do that. Wealthy liberals will. Is it time to tackle the housing crisis? Absolutely. We can propose a big trust fund to create millions of affordable housing units. No ghettos, no red lines. That sounds great. Um, yeah. Uh, so what's it doing for people? So it alienates the, the hardliners, I'm going to say. But a lot of everyone else is kind of happy with that. It's going to cost a lot of money, though. But it is. It is going to cost a lot of money. But obviously, it's a, it's a massive issue. So I would say, yes, we're going to build. Build. 
We were thinking Iraq could use some international aid, you know, after being completely wrecked. The United Nations is a huge whale. Uh, yes, uh, Iraq does need international aid. So, yeah, we are going to donate. This country deserves better internet infrastructure. Alas, the tech corporations are too poor to invest in it. Mm. <sighs> yeah, it. So, again, they're not too poor, but. We do, it does, you know, every country needs better internet infrastructure. In fact, in the UK, uh, you know, the, what was it, B British Telecoms, BT, as it used to be, you know, it used to be British Telecommunications, uh, used to be nationalised. And then I think Margaret Thatcher privatised it and it had a plan to do a national broadband or, uh, you know, fibre optic infrastructure that Margaret Thatcher cancelled. So some areas of the country, even today, still don't have um, fibre optic. Uh, me included. I only have, you know, uh, it's you know, through a old, the old landline system, but obviously it's it's DSL these days, isn't it? So I'm going to say yes. Even though that's expensive, it's going to get a lot of people on side, so I think it's worth it. Hold on. If we're paying for it, we'd better support municipal internet networks, cheaper and better. Um... Yeah, I think so. Yeah, why people should be allowed to run their own municipal internet networks? That sounds sensible. I like I, the civil rights leader looks great. Are they they're like Thomas Sankara mixed with Malcolm X? It's great. Okay, it's outrageous. Our prison system rakes in millions from free in, inmate labor and inflated phone call fees. Yes, this is awful, and we definitely need to end this. It's it's going to send us into a budget deficit, but I think yeah, it's really important. We've got to end it. I'm going to go, by the way, to the, ta to the next election um, and then, you know, because obviously the whole game kind of proceeds in this in this vein. I'm notifying you that the Iraqi government is calling for all foreign troops to leave. Uh, yes, yes, with withdraw from Iraq immediately. Sure, you're aware that leaving Iraq would jeopardize our presence in the region. ISIS might surge. Ugh, I've, yeah, they no, and yes, again, a massively complicated issue um, it is, you know, if we were to if we were to remain in Iraq, it's basically the United States has always liked to think of itself as the world policeman. And it's just what who appointed it world policeman? Nobody voted on that. So if there was the need to send in some kind of international force, the United Nations should be in charge of that. So I'm going to say, yep, we are withdrawing. Also, that's saving quite a bit of money, I guess, from you know not having to spend on the United States, uh, the uh, U.S. armed forces being over there, because that presumably costs quite a lot. So let's withdraw. <laughs> I dream of publicly funded elections, voters supporting their candidates without having to pay without taxpayer democracy vouchers. Mm. So that, that only get kind of like, it's not alienating that many people. What's this person here? Oh, there they're kind of like the old-fashioned conservative and this person is the mm, they're kind of like the the military they love a strong military type thing they're kind of like more hardline conservative yeah i think that's sensible it's only alienating them so um if we if we eliminate private finance in um in uh democracy i think that's really sensible so let's do that for a swift transition to the renewables, we need to create a new energy, the Power Marketing Administration. Hmm. Uh, I, yeah? I mean, oh, although it's not alienating, I guess it market solutions only. We, I think renewable energy does need to be kind of like nationally run. It's not really something that private industry is only going to do. Uh, but it is going to, again, going to cost a lot. Mm, let's do it. Blockchain. No. Yes. I think no, because I don't know what blockchain really is still, and no one has demonstrated a real useful method for it yet, so I'm just going to go no to blockchain. <laughs> uh, turbines everywhere. Everywhere. The wind generation potential is nine times our energy demand. Um, yeah, I think wind power is great, but again, ooh, expensive. Expensive! Um, I, I, we've got to get down the CO2 emissions. Yeah, let's go with wind power. We are in deficit. Oh no, that means that spending exceeds revenue. I'm really doing the classic socialist thing here of spending too much. <laughs> or oh, that's what people like to claim, but you know, it's not always the case. Uh, okay, so we'll have to make some money somehow. Perhaps we should tax the middle class more. And by middle class, I mean everybody. <sighs> 
if we ta tax everybody more. I personally would like to tax um, the rich more, and that hasn't been given as an option. That would get us out of deficit, but I don't want to raise tax cuts on the lowest earners, so I'm going to say no. The Supreme Court is still dominated by old conservatives and threatens to overturn your policies. Should we reform it? Yes. How? We can add two new seats to the court. The Republicans turned it into a partisan bombing. Let's take it back. It won't pass. Maybe later. Uh, yeah, I don't think it will pass because don't we need like a don't we need a massive majority in Congress? I think we need like eighty percent of Congress to be able to do that. So, um, what? Any other ideas? Limit Supreme Court's tenure. Each president appoints two members to replace the most senior ones. I mean, yeah, that's same sensible. Would we get that through Congress? I guess, with the current majority we've got. So, yeah, let's... That sounds pretty good. Let's amend the Constitution. Imagine a 0.5% tax on every financial transaction. It would limit uh, speculation and raise a lot of revenue. Y yeah! Um, oh god, that's not going to be popular with everyone who likes the free market. But it would. It would definitely stop speculation. Hmm... <sighs> Not good for election, I guess, but I think we've got we need to get out of this deficit. So yeah, we're going to make World Trade pay. New study by the Friedman Free Market Institute: The financial transactions tax is a tax on your savings. <laughs> the New Pork Times: Yeah, the capitalist pig here is <laughs> good. <laughs> oh. Okay. Yes, yes, we should be legalized marijuana. Um, yeah, all right. I mean, who's not liking that? What is it only one person? I think it is literally one person who doesn't want to legalize marijuana. So yeah, let's do it. Wait, you've also got to get people with marijuana convi related convictions out of jail. Absolutely we do. So yes. Wait, you also got to invest in all the new revenues into communities effed over by the war on drugs. Yes, we do, I think. Yeah, um, that's going to cost a load of money, but it does get the people power up. So, yep, we're doing all of this. Stop right, stop right there. Let's not create another big tobacco. Co-ops for marijuana businesses labels health standards. Yeah, I mean, it seems pretty sensible to me because we've got to, we don't want to have a big tobacco or a big marijuana lobby, as it were, you know, massive corporations running the marijuana industry. So, yeah, done. Question, what did it mean by winning the class war? Class as in, um, hmm, proletariat style fashion. <laughs> We're losing this person who is mainly, a, you know, on our side. They like world peace and internationalism, but they would not like it if we talk about the, <laughs> the revolution. Uh, okay, I guess just to get the... We're not going to alienate our core support that much by talking about style and fashion so let's just do that there that there they're fun you know okay at the earliest convenience uh, here is the pentagon's draft budget nothing new only needs a rubber stamp uh, we're not going to just rubber stamp the pentagon's budget let's have a look budget item space force brand new force still figuring out its purpose very promising uh we do not need a space force <laughs> What are you going to wear to tomorrow's ra rally? A t-shirt? A suit? Uh, I mean, I'm not alienating people, but I'm, I'm getting on these these kind of like lingerers by, uh, you know, by wearing a suit. So let's just stick with a suit. <laughs> no offense, but it'd be nice if the commander-in-chief needed confessional approval to start new wars. Yes. Agreed. Oh, the traditionalists are not happy with that. And actually, wait, I, I get the traditionalists on side if I don't do that? <sighs> I am I am going to stick to my uh, heart here. I believe that war should only be declared with congressional approval. So yes, democratic. The gun nut hate you. Let's enjoy some recreational shooting. <sighs> no, no. I'm British. I think owning guns is ridiculous. So yeah, I'm going to go no time for this. <laughs> Redistricting time. Uh, I was thinking, why don't we hire Jerry Salamander to redraw the electoral districts in our favour? Absolutely not! What are we doing? Wait, gerrymander everything? Well, of course, then when we get people on our side, because we have literally, you know, 
breaking the election. We're, or we're, you know, we're throwing the election in our favour. So yeah, unfair. We are not doing that. Tax house flippers. Uh, one, tax house flippers. Two, add a penalty for empty homes. Three, give tax breaks to folks who are being priced out of their neighbourhoods. Yes, all that sounds great. Although, why? Ugh. It's again going to... You know, the free marketeers are not liking it. But I think we need to deal with the housing crisis ma majorly. So, yeah, we're going to do that. Motion to cancel the student debt affecting millions of Americans. Yes, seconded. We have failed a generation. The student debt crisis is a, student debt is a major crisis that we can end immediately. Yes, absolutely. We must cancel all the debt. Really expensive, but it's got to be done. And it's got to be done here in the UK too. Um, rural America has been rejected by the Democrats, but there is a lot we can do to help. Um, yeah, I mean, yeah, I think we, could, we should be able to help out rural America. So let's have a look. Um, farming's gotten a get big or get out deal. Bust the monopoly so we can all be merry. Yeah, I mean, breaking up. So it looks like the traditionalist farmer likes that. But uh, everyone else, or the free marketeers, don't like it. What, this person actually here. Oh, they're, oh, they're kind of like a, uh, they're like for unionization, so that's why they're on my side. But yeah, they, who is the person who's moving away? Oh, this one here. A free marketeer again, so they like big business, presumably. I think, I think, yeah, we we should break up the monopolies like Monsanto, etc. So yeah, break up the monopolies. Support organic farming. It, make it real and cheap, not just an uppity brand. Yeah, that sounds sensible. It gets to some of the farmers on side there, although it is expensive. But it, also, it's cutting down um, CO2 emissions. So yeah, do it. Uh, we have rumint of Iran enriching uranium. New sanctions or a new treaty? Uh, I think we've got to just do a treaty. Uh, yeah, again, well, not great for voting chances. Or, you know, although we've got a fair number of people on side, we're only alienating a minority. So yeah, the treaty. Please comment about the blackface incident. Um, I think. Well, when this is very generic, so it's difficult to tell. In in terms of um, gaming it for the game, I think I'm going to go different times. But I personally would doing I'm outraged, but it would alien it's going to alienate some voters here. So let's go different times. Budget item: uh, the nuclear arsenal modernization. If somebody has to blow up the world, it should be us. <laughs> Salient. Uh, no, we are cutting the uh, no, nuclear budget. Definitely. Wind turbines are killing all the birds. Um, uh, what? Uh, are they really killing all the birds? I mean, we'll fund some bird sanctuaries. It doesn't look like it's that expensive, so let's do that. Sorry to interrupt, but your constituents are anxious. Will you push for Medicare for all? Yes. You could establish a single-payer healthcare plan. The government covers all the bills. Simple, less weightful. Yes. That is going to cost a lot of money, but it will benefit a lot of people, although the free marketeers do not like it. Um, what This person likes it. What are they? Why, why is this person way on my side, even though they want that white supremacy? I guess we haven't really dealt with that issue particularly yet. Weird. OK, well, let's do that. Socialized healthcare is actually slavery. Fox News. <laughs> That's great. That's really good. Oh dear. Okay. The left must keep lefting. Ja Jacqueline magazine. Oh, that's good. That's cool. I like that. Okay. Nice economy we have there. It would be a shame if something happened to it. Mm. The uh, the big lobbyists. Is this a threat? Of course not. But all those taxes and regulations pissing off Wall Street. They're playing with fire, comrade. It's my mandate. I was mandated, I'm going to say. You know, we could raise taxes on corporations that have obscene pay gaps between the CEOs and workers. Um, yeah. Oh, again, it's going to... Uh, the elections are literally right here. Why are you doing this to me? Oh, uh, yeah, I think we need to do it. Okay, the midterm elections are here. I'm a bit nervous. Uh, we lost seats in Congress. I'm not surprised about that. But we still won, did we? Uh, yeah, we still got. 
so it looks like um, we got over 50% of the vote, but uh, that only tr translates to half the seats. Um, but we didn't we didn't go down that much, although it looks like we lost all of these people at the back here. So who are they? Oh, why did we lose that person? They they were like right on us, and we, they didn't vote for us. And this person. That's a shame. Okay. Well, obviously we didn't lose, lose those one at the back. Anyway, so that that is kind of the whole thing of Democratic Socialism Simulator. I super enjoy it as just you know it's really straightforward. Slight left, slight right. Um, you know, go through. I'm presuming it will take you through the whole two terms of a, a you know a period in office. It, you know, I, I imagine you. Although if you lose your um, first term in office, then you'll be booted out. You know, a one term president. Um, but yeah, really straightforward and really entertaining and uh, a really great way of visualizing the issues, I think. And, um, you know, especially um, topical, given given everything that's going on in the world at the moment. So, yeah, fully, fully recommended. I will leave you now with the Thames clock. It is just after midnight. Um, so it is now June 12th. <laughs> so it might be time to go to bed if you, uh, you know, are feeling tired or otherwise, if you're a night owl like me, stay up and enjoy the enjoy the night. Uh, I will be. Thank you for watching. I will see you sometime next time when we slice into something else. Until then, goodbye for now.